Good morning, folks. We're going to be looking at the sun, solar wind, what happened at Yellowstone yesterday, a strange event on Venus, and an excellent paper on solar forcing of the atmosphere. But we are starting, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star, and while M-class solar flares continued, they were more focused near the limbs. You'll see a few flashes and even CME signatures, but they were not aimed at Earth. SOHO has not updated for the last one, which occurs on the right side, and which appears to have produced a CME despite the impulsive nature of the M3 flare. Looking at the solar wind, we can see that the faint CME expected overnight did impact, but the blue line indicates the completely northward magnetic field, which means Earth deflected the solar wind rather than coupled with it. Geomagnetic effect was minimal. So let's go to Yellowstone. Yesterday the Biscuit Basin geyser erupted much more powerfully than usual. While the internet is freaking out, those who follow me on X, Twitter, already know better. This was a pressure release, and a good one. It shows what we've probably said a thousand times, that the volcano is broken. When extra pressure comes, it doesn't build up for the scary hypothetical explosion, but it releases as either quakes, geothermal, or in this case, geyser activity should really be following me on Twitter, by the way, guys. Up next, we go to Venus, where a brand new type of event is unfolding. They're calling it a cloud discontinuity, and it is a super speed wave through the clouds there. They've never seen this on any planet and are somewhat baffled as to the cause, but essentially, I'm monitoring for any updates to determine if this is yet another sign of widespread changes throughout the solar system that have been occurring recently. Last but not least, excellent paper that not only indicates the solar and cosmic ray forcing of temperatures and precipitation, but pinpoints the electromagnetic impact on clouds. That has been the focus of space weather forcing on over half the papers published this year, and is one of the most vital things they still leave out of climate models. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.